Next up is Wendell Niles. The New York State Office of General Services, Disabled African American Veterans, and Niles Advertising will be hosting a community forum titled The Black Veteran Experience, telling our story our way on Thursday. They have the honor of featuring black vets who will share their experiences serving in the armed forces. Wendell Niles is a veteran himself and the president of Niles Advertising and the organizer of this event. Joining us now to speak further on the forum. Welcome, Wendell. Thank you. Thank you. Can you tell me, on the, today is the 70th anniversary of Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. As a veteran, um, a lot of people out there are not sure what resources that are available to them, where they should go, what they should do. I know a lot of times the government tries to assist vets. Mm -hmm. What is the significance of this forum? The significance of this forum is to bring transparency and to, and to actually uh, position ourselves within that, within that event where people themselves can ask questions that pertain to their needs. Uh, the biggest problem that, that, that is happening with veterans is that they're not aware of the opportunities that they are you know, privy to have that are basically mandated by Congress. So that's the purpose of this event, as well as to let young people to see that we have heroes. You know, we, you know veterans, you know, African Americans have served in every war and every conflict from the Revolutionary War to the Spanish-American War, to World War I, World War II, Vietnam, the Gulf of War, etc. And this needs to be told, and we need to tell it ourselves our way, and that's the purpose of what we're doing. So at this forum, vets and family of vets mm -hmm. um, will receive resources mm -hmm. or information on what's available to them. Exactly. Can you tell me why is it that veterans aren't aware of what's available to them via Congress mandate? Well, I think a big problem is that when vet veterans are in the service and they're getting ready to leave the service, they're not giving that information. They're not, time isn't taken to, to or programs aren't set up, whereas th this type of information is given to them so that when they are, so when they, when they exit the military, they'll be able to have you know, uh, access to these resources. And that's one of the big problems. Doesn't veteran services have like a book that they can provide to veterans or is the book or the information so complex and ever changing that it's difficult for vets to navigate the process? There, there is a federal guide that, uh, that, that, that any, any veteran could go to any one of the veteran hospitals and they have them there free of charge or any family member wants to have them. But and then there's a website, there's the, uh, there's the uh, vet, V-E-T dot gov, where you can get all the information about being friend. And there's just resources. I mean, if you just Google or do any one of the search engines on veterans, there's so much research. But again, uh, the problem stems from actually putting the information into their hands. That is the, that's what we're trying to do here. And we're just trying to open up a forum that people can speak, good, bad, and ugly. I mean, and, and we look at Africa, and you look at the history of what African Americans mm -hmm. are going through, I mean, it is disgraceful how this, how this country has treated African Americans, and yet we still are able to rise above it. And there's a wonderful, there'll be some wonderful stories that are gonna come out of it, and we need to hear this. And it's not just about blacks, it's, everybody should hear this story. Because all, uh, out, of the black, out of the black veteran movement came the women's movement. People don't realize that. So uh, it's going to be a beautiful evening. It's going to be a You mentioned evening. the good, the bad, and the ugly. Mm -hmm. At this event, will, there also will be a toy drive. Can you tell us about this holiday yeah, toy drive? Yeah, as the culmination to this event, uh, uh, every year it's supposed to give a little history on it. Uh, for the last six years, I've been doing a toy drive. Okay. And I've raised literally over 10,000 toys and have them distributed throughout the city. Uh, this year, I decided to, um, uh, with some help, uh, to just really focus in on veterans because the needs is just so great uh, for veterans. So uh, at the Harlem State Office building, which is 163, 163 West 125th Street, uh, we're having a toy drive there. Whereas anybody, wherever you come from, you could either send it, you can mail it, or you could just, we have two big huge boxes that are nicely decorated where you could just drop the toys in them and we'd be more, we we'll be more than happy to uh, accept them. That's the Adam Clayton Powell Adam building. Adam Clayton Powell, yeah, Clayton Powell. Well. So if people went into the building, there's a box there, they can just drop off their toys. Exactly. Perfect, yeah. and these toys will be going to veterans. Yeah, the families. toys will be going to just, I w we will then distribute them to the various 
veteran organizations that actually do, they actually work with veterans and, and their families and they will distribute them. Perfect. Yeah, so. so veterans in the Bronx and primarily African American veterans. No, it's, it's, it's open to everybody. Okay. I, I have people coming from Philadelphia. I have wives, uh, wives of veterans. I have veteran wives and husband teams coming. I have children of veterans come. I have people, and we, you know, the, the CUNYs have a programs. A lot of the schools have have veteran programs where now you know all the veterans are coming back home. So that's going to open up a new uh, area where, where where education, which will really help a lot of the schools, where they can get there, they can utilize their GI Bill. So a lot of good stuff, a lot of good information. So pretty much the forum and the toy drive is open to everyone. Exactly. But people will hear interesting stories about the African American experience as a veteran. Yes. In the army. Or oh, yeah. the mm -hmm. Navy or the Marines, whatever yes. have you. Can you tell us about your experience as a veteran? Well, uh, I was uh, in the United States Army. Uh, uh, I served uh, in Fort Huachuca, Arizona. And I had three jobs, three of the, what you call MOs. And one, and one I served as a, in strategic communications, uh, where stuff I can't talk about. Uh, the other job that I had was also as a bandsman, because I was a professional musician. Okay. And the other other job I had is that I'm also a graduate of the School of Visual Arts, where I was actually an art instructor. And my job as an art instructor was really supportive of all the veterans in Vietnam. So all the veterans that went to Vietnam, their families stayed there, and my job was really support the family. So uh, it was a great tour. It was a, it was a great tour. And and, uh, and events like this forum mean a lot to you. Oh, definitely. It's it's it's, it's my heart. I mean, veterans are my heart. Uh, I like to uh, take a quick moment to. So to uh, uh, advise you as to who's going to, s who are the invited guests are serving. That's what I was going to get to. Okay. Can you tell me about this forum, yeah. who's yeah. going to be there, and where people should log on to to get more information if they're interested mm -hmm. in attending the forum? Okay. Um, we're going to have uh, Congressman Charles B. Rangos, uh, who's, who, who is a uh, Korean vet, okay. and he's also the U.S. Representative of the United States for District 15. We're having Dr. Roscoe. We invited Dr. Roscoe Brown who is a uh, World Tuskegee. War II, very highly decorated World War II veteran, and he is also a Tuskegee, Tuskegee and, uh, he was a captain in World War II, and he's also the former president of the Bronx Community College. Uh, we have Popeye C.G. Winningham. Uh, Popeye is a Gulf War veteran, and uh, he, is a, he, is the he is a legislative chairman of the Disabled American Veterans organization and he serves for the Bronx and that's like a one and a half million membership organization of veterans. Wow. Uh, we have a Do Dosicia uh, Davis and she's a Gulf War female. She's a Gulf War veteran and she's uh, multiple. She's also a chaplain and she served in combat and uh, she has received, I mean, literally uh, awards and accommodations and awards and awards and all over the place. And then we have, lastly, we have Walter E. Bridgers and Walter Bridger is a uh, veteran era vet, and he also sir, he also is a director of the, the Harlem Vet Center. Okay. So, so these a, a I'm distinguished, um, distinguished, very a uh, very distinguished panel. So, if people want to find out more about the event, can you tell me the day and the time? Okay, the day it's next Thursday, December fifteenth. Okay. Six o'clock. The reception starts at six o'clock. The forum will start at seven o'clock. Okay. You, It'd be located in the Harlem State Office Building, which is located at 163 West 125th Street on the corner of Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Boulevard on the second floor, the Art Gallery. And if anybody's interested in speaking to me about it, because we don't have a website, okay, uh, you can call me at 347-335-8457. Uh, Open to the public. Open no one needs public. to RSVP. No. Family, Family. Um, friends, mm -hmm. veterans, exactly. everyone's Everyone. welcome to attend. Perfect. Thank you so much.